Yo, all my music heads, what's up? This your Crizzle. All praise it to the Most High, Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Hey, yo, check this out, man. Um, I'm about to show you how you can mix the same song. I mean, the, the song that you're using, you can have different mixes using the scratch pad. So y'all bear with me if you don't understand what I'm trying to accomplish. All right. So check this out. Well, I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to remove this track. And what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to just go find a loop, right? Let me go find a loop. Let's say I got that loop, right? And I'm going to go pick something else. Let me grab this. No, I'm trying to find something better than that. Hold on. All right. This one might this might don't make no sense how it's playing, but I don't know. All right, but anyway, let's say let's say uh, this is your full song. Let's say you got how many tracks you got? Five, ten, three. I don't know. Beat that you making or tracks that you making? Blah 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 blah. All right, so I'm a, I'm gonna color these, you know, so you can keep track of what I'm doing. All right, so let's say you got like you know. Between one and ten tracks, and this is your song, right? And right, and uh, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get these two, I'm gonna pack it in the folder, right? So I'm gonna call this mix one. Matter of fact, let me let me let me cap it. Right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate mix one completely. And I'm going to color this blue. Right? So we got mix one, we got mix two. Now as you can see, okay. Now on the mixer you got to make sure this is selected. Link, expand, collapse, or folder tracks with show high, right? So that means that if I open up Mix 2, it'll pop up only this song I can mix and do what I do, right? If I close Mix 2, if I open up Mix 1, it'll only pop up, you know, this mix. All right, so now... Bear with me. Hold on. All right. So now, I right, what you would do if you notice that. Hold on. Play this back. Let me let me turn this down some. Let me turn all these down. They're a little too loud. Now, you notice they playing all the same, right? So, what I'm going to do to separate these so we can hear the difference, I'm going to put a reverb. I'm going to put a reverb on, you know, a delay on these two on the blue. So, that's what I'm going to do. It might sound crazy. All right. So, we can just hear the difference. All right. So... Now you notice that we are, we play them together. They'll play together, right? So, but what you want to do? What you want to do, right? So we're gonna go to Scratch Pad, right? And let's say you, you you I mean we know how to use Scratch Pad. We know the purpose of it, and it's it's for to rearrange different things of your song. So we're gonna rename this first Scratch Pad. 
mix one, right? Then we're gonna duplicate that and name scratch pack mix two. All right, so we got. No, no, hold on. I'm sorry, my bad. Gotta add another scratch pad. <clears throat> so we're gonna name this mix one. All right, we got mix one and mix two, right? All right, so in mix one. Drag those right there, right? Mix two. Drag these right here, right? All right, so now. So like I say, remember, when I when I when I bring mix one down in the folder, it'll open up in the track, right? The same thing as Mix two. Okay. Now, if I want to see mix one right here, there you go. So if I make mix one, I'm going to play this back. It's only going to play mix one in the mixer from the scratch pad. So that means you can do your mixing. See, as you see, mix two is not even playing right now. Because it's not right here. Now, if I go go to mix two, now it's gonna play mix two. Now, if you go to the mixer, I'm gonna open both up. Now you see these levels are jumping. So my point is that you can mix separate songs in the scratch pad. You just have to, you know, Whatever, whatever, whatever song you recording, whatever you mix in, you know, whatever you decide to mix down, just put it in a pack folder and group it and name it, you know, and now you got two different of the same song that you can mix mix differently. Even if you don't want to use the scratch pad, right? You could just mute mix two, open up mix one, and start mixing mix one down, you know. Adding effects and plugins and blah 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 blah, whatever you want to do, you know. Then if you don't, you know, if you still don't want to use the mix pad, I mean the scratch pad, unmute mix two, mute mix one, and start mixing that John down, you know. Uh, but if they both unmute and you want to see a whole different breakdown of your song, so for example, if I open up mix two, and Copying down and you know cutting whatever you do and you know copy this down and whatever blah 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 how you gonna do your song you know and whatever how you format it out you know play it back. As you can tell, it got a delay on it. If I switch to mix one, it's only gonna play mix one. And I can open up mix one, do what I wanna do, break it down, format it, verse, hook, chorus, everything. It, it, you know, it's, it's an extra little step, but you can get the job done because a couple people was telling me that you couldn't mix uh, separate, you know, the same song. And have your own separate mixing tracks. And I just showed y'all that you can. And this is to help my people, our music heads. This is your Crizzle. I uh, hope y'all got the picture and understood what I was doing. Peace.